Following the First World War, Germany was experimenting with tank warfare and trying to find a way for infantry to support tanks as they moved through the battlefield. In this video, we look at the Panzer Grenadiers and their influence on battlefields across Europe during World War II. Essentially through some trial and error, German military planners determined that there were two ways to wage war with tanks. One, making the tanks large and slow, which would allow infantry to keep up on foot. Or the other way was to create smaller and lighter tanks, which were fast and could break through enemy lines and push deeper than the bigger tanks. The issue being the infantry could not keep up with the smaller tanks. One of the possible solutions was to use trucks to transport the infantry. The main issue, however, was that trucks were susceptible to getting stuck or bogged if the roads or ground weren't sufficiently hard enough. So another vehicle was developed, the SDKFZ251 troop carrier. This, also referred to as a half-track, was an armoured vehicle with two tyres at the front and tank tracks at the rear. They were able to go places trucks could not, and most importantly, could go where tanks could go, and at sufficient speed. They could carry ten fully armed soldiers and equipment, and were proved effective in their role with tanks. This allowed the Panzer Grenadiers to be born. In some of the Blitzkrieg tactics of the early war years, the regular infantry adapted relatively well, it wouldn't be until the later years of the war where the Panzer Grenadiers would be able to show their skills. On the Eastern Front, they were used extensively to support tanks, and as the push into Russia showed, they needed to cover greater and greater distances. Generally speaking, a Panzer Grenadier division had one less tank battalion and two more infantry battalions than a Panzer division. The half-tracks were meant to be distributed across all of the Panzer Grenadier divisions, and all of those soldiers using that mode of transport. But as the war raged on, and Germany suffered heavier and heavier losses of man and machine, these half-tracks became more scarce. This resulted in many of the soldiers having to be transported in trucks instead, which of course slowed them down. The soldiers themselves were designated as elite units, as their training was difficult, and it needed to be, as they had to perform important roles of being infantrymen, as well as having anti-tank and anti-aircraft duties as well. But due to the lack of resources and time, this training deteriorated later in the war, so some of these later soldiers didn't have the skills or ability of their early war counterparts. Nonetheless, Panzer Grenadiers would take part in some of the biggest battles of the war. They were armed with the latest weaponry, including the Sturmgewehr 44s and the Gewehr 43s. Their anti-tank equipment consisted of Panzer Shreks and numerous different mines. Their anti-aircraft equipment mostly consisting of 20mm cannons. They were essentially only as effective as their equipment though, and as the war came to a close, they were forced to move on foot and use what weapons they could. But they are certainly remembered as an integral part of the German forces during World War II. As always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to expand your knowledge and join the growing Premier History community.